then let's do this guy. Whoops. So this one is another one that I came up with. And this one I thought would be fun. I think Corey Dobbin does something similar to this where you have a little flip and she's made ones where she has little paper pads in here, etc. So this you could glue to a page. It could flip out this way if it was on this page or in like this. So then you could glue it so it stays all the way flat or this could also become a tuck like that. Similar to the other one that um, Patricia shared, but I cut off the bottom part of mine and then these pieces become the little tuck spots for little bits that you can put in here. All right, so let's make this one. This one. So for this one, this first fold is a little different because you're gonna go over this page and kind of eyeball how much you want to fold back. And that will make the flap for your front tuck spot. So I went almost all the way over, or pretty much I went over. You can still see a little bit of yellow there. And then when we open it, we now have this part right here. All right, so then, I'm going to cut off some of the bottom, so right around here, and then we can use the cutoff bits in here as little tuck spots. And my line, my cutting isn't so straight, so we could do one here. glue these down or you could stitch them on you could wait to do this part and for this one I added scrap um, digital paper but for the example we'll just go ahead and glue it on I'm kind of bummed to cover that flower so I think I'm going to try and use this one to kind of match up those two flowers and what if we do, maybe for this one we'll do pockets next to each other. Because I really like that, really like that flower. All right, and then we'll cover up that brown kind of flower. And then this, now, this might be too big. Yeah, that's too big, but this becomes a little tuck and a little tuck. And then you just have to glue here, and here. And again, I wouldn't do this if I was sewing. I would wait, cover my papers, do what I want, and then glue. And there we go. Now I have little pockets. And you can then decorate. And then this can be glued down in your book. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna cut the page in half. So here's that first fold, fold up. My trimmer will eat this up, so I'm gonna use my scissors. I'm gonna cut this page in half. And then we have this, right? We have one, two of these. So then all we do, fold it in half. And simply fold this back. So then we do it to the other one. We fold it in half. 
and pull this part back. And there you go. So now you can use this as a belly band and they have a tuck here and you have a itty bitty tuck or you could just leave this as decoration if you didn't want to use it. And then in your journal, you could make it as tall as your journal is or it could be kind of like the other one. You could have a tuck, a tuck. You could even go this way and make it a belly band all sorts of fun options. And here is the next one. This is a play on the Patricia one. Got another book page like this. You do that same fold. Like that. Then fold it in half. Fold this part down like we did before. And then the difference is I'm going to cut right here. And then we're going to take this and fold it up this way. And then this one, you're actually going to, instead of it matching, you're going to bring it down and push it down so then it becomes a second tuck. And I didn't fold it too straight, but you can always go around and trim, trim it up. And this page was smaller, so that's why this lined up right here. So for this one, I had to trim the edge. For this page, since it's larger, I didn't have to do that. I could come back and fold this up even more if we wanted, or even, but then that makes it for a small. But let's go like this, cut this a little bit more. and then you can glue it together. All right, so there's that one. I think this one is super cute. This one I didn't decorate the back because I would just plop it on the page. Okay, here's another one. They're all kind of similar with a little twist. And let's get another book page. Same fold. Fold it up to start, fold it in half, and then for this one, I trimmed up here. So I'm just going to trim this top part. And then I'm going to take this and round my corners. is going to make it look like a little envelope. So I'm going to fold this over like that. Fold this back. And then you'll see this little piece right here. I just kind of trimmed that off so it didn't look scraggly. And then you have this. And then decorate it. It looks like this. So you have your flap for your little envelope. This front pocket is that envelope. And then you have a tuck here. And then you can tuck it here, or this can be free floating. Because you also have this in the back. So that is up to you if you want to glue it down or have this as a tuck. Or again, you could put a tab and then have it tuck inside something else. Pretty cute. I think rounding the corners to make it look like an envelope is really fun. All right, here is the last one. 
This was another one that I, I came up with. And this is an over the page tuck. So in your journal, this would actually go over the page like this. And then you could glue the top and the bottom. Or you can glue this one flat back here. And then this could still open. And then on this side, if you glued the top or the bottom, then this is a little tuck for itty bitty things. And then this is a tuck. All right, so let me show you. Let me take one of these. We start with that same. I want to do it this way. Yeah. Okay. So start with the same. I'm going to do this way. Start with the same fold up. And then we're going to fold this part down. And there you go. So then this one could be an over the page. Like this. Again, you could glue this whole thing. This you would glue down. And then over here, you would decorate. And this could be a flip. Or you could glue the top and bottom and it could be a tuck. Again, I want my flowers to show. There we go. That's better. So then when it's decorated, it looks like this. I didn't worry about this because that's not going to show. I have my little tuck spot here. And there is my other part. You could put something here to put a tuck in. You could flip, etc. All right. So that was the last one. Using the same starting fold, we made 10 different um, pockets and tuck spots. Super duper fun. All right, keep your eye out. The kit, I'm like 85% done. <laughs> the three kits I'm hoping to have ready by Thursday or Friday. Um, so I'm hoping that they're, they're ready by then and they will be listed in the shop. And I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Happy crafting with your book pages. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.